Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we will be talking about the applications of trigonometry. Here we have a word problem along with its visual representation. Let's read this word problem. An aeroplane when flying at a height of 4,000 meters from the ground passes vertically above another aeroplane at an instant when the angles of elevation of these two planes from the same point on the ground are 60 degrees and 45 degrees respectively. Find the vertical distance between these two aeroplanes. And before we get started, let's see over here the vertical representation. We have these two planes and now we know that this the top plane at point B has a height of 4000 meter. And the distance between these two planes, we put it H distance, H meters. So we know that this distance between C and D is going to be a simply 4000 minus H, isn't it? Now let's focus on this smaller right triangle, that the smaller right triangle is, I'm going to say in this one, in triangle C, D, A. Let's focus on this one. C, D, A, we know that this side, as you can see that this side in the C, D, A, this side is our adjacent side and this side is our opposite side. Now we are going to use our SOCA-TOA chart to look at these trigonometric ratios and here we are interested in TOA part only. TOA means tangent equal to opposite over adjacent. So here we have a tangent theta equal to opposite over adjacent in triangle CDA. And we know the angle tangent of 45, angle is 45 degree and we know that the opposite side is 4000 minus h divided by our adjacent is simply x. So we know this one. And now we know that this tangent of 45 degree is simply 1 you can use a calculator. So 1 turns out to be equal to 4000 minus h divided by x. If I put 1 as a 1 over 1, then I can simply cross multiply, crisscross this and this. So I can write this thing 1 time x is going to be x equal to one time this quantity is going to be simply 4000 minus h. And I want to call this equation as number 1. Now let's focus on our bigger triangle in triangle BDA we are going to use uh, tangent theta once again and we know that tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. In our case, in this bigger triangle BDA, our angle is 60 degrees as you can see. Equal to opposite side is, this is 4000 meters divided by adjacent once again is x and we know that tangent of 60 is equal to square root of 3 so i can replace this tangent 60 by square root of 3 equal to 4000 divided by x and now I can write the square root of 3 as square root of 3 over 1. And now I can 
crisscross. I can cross multiply this and this. So that is going to give us square root of 3 times x equal to when we cross multiply this way 1 times 4000 is going to be 4000 and here I am going to isolate x so I'm going to divide both sides by square root of 3 so that means our this square root of 3 square root of 3 cancels out so we got x equal to 4000 divided by square root of 3. I am going to call this equation as number 2. And now in our final step we are going to compare equations 1 and 2. So I'm going to say by comparing equations 1 and 2 this is what we are going to get I am going to put down uh, 4000 divided by square root of 3 in equation 2 equals to 4000 minus h and now I am going to move this negative h on the left hand side and the same time this fraction on the right hand side. So if we do that process we are going to get h when this negative h when you move it on the other side become positive h equal to 4000 minus when we move this fraction on the other side become minus 4000 divided by square root of 3 and we know that the square root of 3 at the denominator equal to 1.732 if we use a calculator so I can write this h equal to 4000 minus 4000 divided by 1.732 so furthermore if we simplify 4000 minus 4000 divided by 1.732 is going to be equal to 2309.4 let's subtract this quantity so we are going to get 1690.6 so our h turns out to be a 1690.6 so thus our final answer turns out to be 1690.6 meter that is the distance h between two planes and that is our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.